Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another movie review. <laughs> this was supposed to go up yesterday, but I accidentally deleted the entire, this entire week's worth of videos off of my memory card because I thought I had already moved everything over, that they were safe and sound and everything, and I deleted them, and I've emptied out my trash and everything, and I went in to go upload videos, and there were no videos. So yeah, here we are, doing this again. So I'm going to try and uh, repeat whatever I did before, but you guys don't know anything about what I did before, so let's just talk about the movie. Today we're talking about Happy Death Day to You. Right off the bat, I want to say that I was a big fan of the first one. I enjoyed it. It was the first horror movie that I got to take my daughter to go see. Um, she wanted to see it for her birthday when it came out. We went and saw it. We loved it. Um, I thought it was going to be yet a, yet again another, you know, uh, Groundhog Day do-over kind of thing, and it was just going to be the same boring thing over and over again, but my daughter wanted to see it. My daughter had never seen Groundhog Day, so maybe she would enjoy it. I ended up really enjoying the movie. Going into the sequel, I was once again afeard. <laughs> I, was, I was afraid that we were going to be seeing more of the same, um, and I'm happy to say it wasn't more of the same. Uh, they, they did a lot of really cool stuff to make this one new and feel fresh. Um, there were some scenes that oddly enough looked like maybe a an MTV production kind of deal um, or you know like a modern soap opera. The cinematography wasn't so great. Some of the comedy was forced um, but the the thing the thing that I liked the most about this movie in particular is that they did something wholly original which is they went and they explained why the first film happened um now that might not be original but how they did it how they explained it was very very cool they actually used so or at least it felt this way because i saw a lot of fan theories um after the first movie uh came out and then they were talking about a sequel. There's a lot of fan theories and it feels like they took some of those fan theories and they, you know, put them into the movie because there was a lot of stuff that I saw right after seeing the first movie um, that if they were already working on it, that's great. But there was a lot of fan theories regarding, you know, whether or not the, um, someone else was having a repeated day over and over again and they used a bit of that too. Uh, I've heard that there's not going to be a third one, um, and the ending of the second one does kind of wrap everything up completely, so I don't know. But the the movie itself, I laughed a lot. Um, I cringed sometimes, too. There's a scene with, uh, with someone pretending to be blind that I thought was absolutely hilarious, um, whereas they were hilarious. The other person in the scene I thought was cringeworthy bad. Um, while this one wasn't as good as far as production quality and acting and writing and all that, while that one wasn't as good, where it made up for was the originality and the heart. Uh, I cried twice in this movie. Uh, I'm not ashamed of saying I almost cried a third time. Uh, well, I almost cried the first time. I got past that one and there was two more scenes that actually made me tear up. And I looked over my daughter was even crying. Um, and it, it just it, it blew my mind that they would go they would put that much emotional depth into something that is just a goofy horror movie sequel. At least that's what it appears to be on the on on the surface. Um, I'm wondering if something happened to somebody's parents or whatever while they were filming the movie, or somebody lost someone they loved, the writer or the director or somebody, because. With this one, there's a very deep emotional connect there with uh, someone who's supposed to be dead that the that the ma the main character has to de has to deal with. Um, it's a situation that really tugs at the heartstrings, and I was impressed that they went to that length. To do that. So that's how I felt about Happy Death Day to you. Let me know how you felt about the movie down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another movie review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye!